respected session chair, faculty members, and my dear friends, good morning to one and all. This is Santosh Kumar Bairapaka, PhD scholar in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, National Institute of Technology, Mizoram. And my topic for the presentation is slits and slots loaded dual band circuit polarized patch antenna for WLAN and WiMAX communications. My paper ID is T8. S13 P312. This is the outline of my presentation. It would uh, start with uh, introduction, followed by the design of slits and slots loaded patch antenna. Then the antenna parameters as resonance frequencies, current distribution study, stimulated normalized radiation patterns of the left hand circular polarization and the right hand circular polarization, conclusion, feature work, and references. Modern wireless industry required antennas to be very compact in size, which are low in cost, and integration of one or more technology is in high demand in the present scenario. After Deschamps' invention of microstrip antennas, a lot of work has been published and improvisation has been done on microstrip patch antennas. High attention was gained by researchers in recent years towards circular polarized slot antennas as it has several advantages. By slotting, Miniaturization can be uh, taken and advantage of circular polarization over linear polarization is that channel capacity can be enhanced with frequency reuse, provide signal security with better polarization purity. So these are the advantage with uh, over linear polarization. So the advantages of uh, microchip antennas is that it is easy to fabricate and dual band antennas are sufficient for number of single band antennas to provide maximum wireless uh, services as possible. So this is the antenna design. The antenna is designed on a uh, substrate size of 45 by 45 mm. The substrate chosen is uh, FR4 with a height 1.6 mm. The pentagon shape uh, has been derived from the circular patch. Here as the title says, slits and slots uh, loaded. Two slits and two slots has been loaded here. SL and SR are the two slits. One is loaded at the uh, left top side of the uh, uh, pentagon shaped antenna and SR is the and other slit that is loaded at the bottom of the right side of the pentagon shaped patch antenna. V1 and H1 are the slots that are placed uh, perpendicular to each other at the center of the pentagon patch antenna. So the antenna without any slits and slots, the antenna resonates at 1.95 GHz. After inserting the slits and slots, the antenna resonates at 2.4, 2.5 GHz and 3.5 GHz. SL is a slit that is responsible for generating 2.5 GHz and SR is a slit that is responsible for generating 3.5 GHz frequency. Both the bands are circular polarized and better axial ratio of less than 3 dB is achieved by inserting two slots perpendicular to each other at the center of the microstrip patch antenna. Uh, all the slits and slots are symmetrical in shape and size. At the right side is the parameter table uh, regarding the design of this antenna. These are the design parameters and their measurements in MF. So this is the design analysis. As I said, the antenna is derived, the pentagon shape is derived from the uh, circular patch. Uh, so here, uh, uh, miniaturization of the antenna has taken place and the fringing uh, radius is being calculated using the equation AE is equal to A into 1 plus 2H by pi A epsilon R into ln pi A by 2H plus 1.7726 power of 1 by 2. So the value of radius, uh, fringing radius is of the circle is uh, 21.59 mm. But after uh, certain reduction for uh, generating the both the bands, it is uh, 20.58. So the resonant frequency without slits and slots of this pentagon patch is 1.95 GHz. And the side length of the um, pentagon patch is calculated with the equation 1.175 into A, where A is the radius of the circle from the center and the 50 ohm line uh, is designed 
is the equation W is equal to 7.48 minus H by e to power of Z naught under root F naught of plus 1.4 by 87 minus 1.25. That would be 2.95 mm. In practice, in order for designing of this antenna, I have taken the uh, width of 50 ohm feed line is 3 mm. This is the S1 graph and axial ratio of the proposed antenna. So the return loss is greater than minus 25 dB and good impedance uh, matching is observed. And for uh, uh, axial ratio, when coming to the axial ratio, the both the bands 2.5 GHz and 3.5 GHz are having good axial ratio under 3 dB. So these are the antenna parameters at resonance frequencies. So the at resonance frequency 2.5 GHz, the impedance bandwidth uh, percentage is 4, uh, gain is 3.4 dB. Front to back ratio is 3.6 dB and axial ratio for the lower band is less than 1.7 dB. And for the upper band, 3.5 GHz, the impedance bandwidth percentage is 1.7, gain is 4.7 and front to back ratio is 2.1 dB. The axial ratio is less than 2.9 uh, dB. These are the current surface. Uh, uh, current uh, surface current distribution for 2.5 GHz and 3.5 GHz at 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Uh, for 2.5 GHz at the right side of the patch antenna near the vicinity of the slot, the surface current is in plus x direction at the 0 degree space and it is seen that the direction changes to plus y at 90 degree space. So the surface current density vector rotates in anticlockwise direction thus generating right hand circle polarization. Similarly for 3.5 GHz at the left corner of the antenna near the slot the surface current density rotates from minus x to minus y direction uh, thus generating right hand circular polarization. So it is concluded that both the resonant bands 2.5 GHz as well as 3.5 gears are generating or exhibiting the right hand circular polarization. So this is the simulated normalized radiation patterns of uh, uh, left hand circular polarization and right hand pol circular polarization for the resonating bands 2.5 gears and 3.5 gears. So there is some field in the radiation patterns. The field is because of the asymmetric design that has happened in the carbon structure. So coming to the conclusion, so the novel design antenna is dual band with circular polarization and it can be used for WLAN and biomass applications. The antenna has exhibited satisfactory gain and better axial ratio has been observed at the resonant frequency. The antenna is very compact in size and the area in lambda is 0.375 lambda by 0.375 lambda. In the future work, Improving the uh, bandwidth, that is wider impedance bandwidth with uh, reducing radiation losses and increasing the, the gain further is the next target in my future work. So these are the references that I have taken uh, for uh, writing this article. Thank you. Thank you all.